Yeah, so I think what's becoming at least most clear is that we really need to define this patient group as its own entity and really going forward, only run clinical trials sort of in the T53 mutant specific group. So first to really classify these patients, I like a definition that includes a P53 mutant MDS and AML group, essentially any patient that has more than 5% blast or is multi-hit or is complex karyotype really should be considered one disease entity and we should really not be separating these patients based on arbitrary blast cutoffs as these have not really uh, impacted uh, prognosis whatsoever. I think currently standards of care often include HMA or HMA venetoclax combination therapy. A lot of the decisions here are more based on whether or not patients can be considered uh, stem cell transplant candidates, but really treatment options one, two, and three should be clinical trial because the median overall survival is, is less than 12 months in all uh, subsets, particularly in patients with increased blast, it's likely closer to six months. And so it's really a very poor standard of care. And I think really the major point going forward for us to improve outcomes, both to get agents approved for wild type as well as mutant patients, again, is completely separating out this group uh, going forward, thinking about, again, initial treatments, potentially getting patients to transplant, maintenance treatments, all with the, with the goal of increasing efficacy in that setting to really uh, try and finally improve the outcomes of this patient group.